I'd like you to think of someone you love. Now have a look at the words on the screen and raise your hand if you see any that describe the person you're thinking about. These attributes or characteristics, these are virtues. Virtues are the building blocks of character. Virtues like these are what compose the goodness part of each of us. Virtues are a major feature of my PhD research, but they're not my primary focus. My primary focus is leadership. Leadership is most simply understood as the process of one person getting other people to do something. And leadership is very big business. In the United States alone, it's estimated that every year, companies are spending more than $16 billion trying to develop their leaders. Despite this, we academics can't seem to come to any real consensus on exactly what leadership is, nor how to do leadership well. We have dozens of theories and multiple measures, and none of them seem to quite agree. My investigation of leadership sidesteps this sort of theoretical quagmire, and instead attempts to address one question. How can we scholars help practicing leaders to be and to do good? Well, we know that the goodness part of us is composed of virtues like these. So I designed an exploratory leadership development intervention study to help me understand the process and outcomes achieved when I put nine leaders from seven different Tasmanian organizations through two days of virtues-based leadership development training. Now, through multiple interviews and surveys with each of my nine leaders and with their colleagues, I'm beginning to piece together a picture of how they experienced the training and what has resulted. Essentially, learning about virtues and learning a few very basic virtues development strategies has given my leaders a new lens and a new language. They've reported a new lens, a sort of virtues framework through which they can better understand in themselves and in others how virtues such as joyfulness or justice or courage give rise to behaviors. And they've reported a new language which they're using to recognize others, not so much for a task well done, but for those virtues, the diligence or determination or creativity that enabled that task. Learning about virtues helped my leaders become better leaders by giving them a new lens to recognize and a new language to acknowledge in themselves and in others those virtues that compose the goodness part of each of us. So I'll end how I began, with a question. What would it feel like to be led by someone who saw and acknowledged the very best in you? Thank you.